first program during New York Film Festival, the press screens on October 3rd. We're also showing a rare early work of Lars, uh, his Just the Revolutionary, as part of a series called Opening Act this Saturday, uh, and his great 2001 film, Batang West Side. Uh, uh, the restoration of it is showing at MoMA's To Save and Project Festival. Um, I'll start with a couple of questions. Uh, Lav, uh, your, if I'm not mistaken, your first film, uh, Criminal of uh, yeah. Fair Consumption, opens, uh, contains an epigraph from Dostoevsky. Yeah, it was also inspired by Crime and Punishment to some Can you say a little bit about uh, your relationship with Dostoevsky and perhaps? Well, I, I, grew up, I grew up with his books because my father is. Uh, he, he reads a lot of Russian literature, so I saw his books in our, in our house. And then when I go up, I start reading them. Yeah. Do you think of this as an adaptation of Kronenbaum? It was just inspired. It, 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 it took a different route after a while. I tried this different. It's just the crime, the religion, how you go about the religion, the religion, the religion, the religion. So with the case of Bob Young, it's more theological than spiritual. Uh, I'd like to ask you about the significance of, uh, of Norte, uh, the north of the Philippines, where you've chosen to set yes. this film. This film is a direct reference to how fascism was born in the country. Uh, Ferdinand E. Marcos was born in the north. I shot the film in the places where he grew up and where he was born. Were there, did you look at it as were there deliberate connections between Fabian and, and Marcos? I mean, Definitely, Marcos because Marcos is so also though he's a top notch at the low guard and he was a low student. Wasn't he also implicated in a murder? Yeah, yeah. He he actually killed the rival of his father. But he was uh, given an amnesty because he was very young. And the uh, Supreme Court Justice of the Philippines did uh, you know Give him a leniency that he's a very brilliant young guy and we don't, we don't have to waste him, we cannot waste him. So there was a, sort of a conscious allegorical aspect to the film in terms of relating it to, to Marcos and... and yeah, the definitely, Marcos. definitely. Fabian is Marcos, it's a direct reference to him, the birth of fascism in the country. Uh, we might to take some questions. Yes. Yes. Thank uh, you for... Uh, Film that kept my attention. Uh, I'm familiar with, right. the, uh, with the Philippines. I was down in Clark Field back in the mid '60s in the Air Force, so I'm kind of familiar with the culture down there. But uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, David Carroll. The microphone. Oh, thank you. you so that the audience can hear it. The question is about the the uh, the absence of backstory of yeah. the protagonist, Fabian, yeah. yeah. the main character. I think it was very clear in the story that he was... Uh, uh, we have this very dysfunctional subculture in the country right now. People are growing up because uh, their parents are like outside of the country working. Yeah. Fabian is part of that dysfunction. It's a displacement among the young where they grew up without a father or mother because they Parents are working either in Europe or in America. Poverty. That's the background of Tobia. Okay. But he looks like a bourgeois in the film because he's very cool. But it's the background. His parents work in other parts of uh, the world and he grew up with all this money but without a parent. Without his parents. Yeah. That's his background, sir. Thank you. How do you describe your creative philosophy? Uh, the question is how, how how would you describe your creative philosophy? Could you be more specific? Yeah. It's, just like, it's just like asking what is cinema, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, are you particularly maybe going back to the, the early well, question about... I'm simply a uh, storyteller. I'm a storyteller, but uh, I'm 
using my culture as an inspiration, the, the struggle of my country, of my people, as, of humanity itself, as an inspiration for my stories. I, I spoke to Paolo Bertman from the Venice mm. Film Festival earlier in the year, and he said you were the most impressive filmmaker he'd ever met. Um, you talked about your, your commitment to all aspects of filmmaking, um, and also a, a political dimension to your filmmaking. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I, it's, it's about all the struggle of humanity that I put in my films. All my films are very political because of the way the struggle of humanity. Have, have you had any interaction with Filipino politicians? No. The question is whether Lot has had an interaction with Filipino politicians. I'm a filmmaker yeah. in the country. I'm a storyteller in the country. I'm out of the politics. I'm out of the political arena. Yeah. Um, Well, Chris, thank you, and welcome to our culture. It's, uh, it's a pretty much a beautiful shock. Uh, my question has to do with the, the sort of Greek epic quality to the film, the sort of poetic lyricism of the film, the critique of capital, and the role of religion. Now, those are all very broad issues, but you, 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 this is the tango that's going on in the screen as I watch it. And I was sort of left with, by the end, what, what is your vision of hope, you know, in this sort of human um, predicament that the Philippines and many other countries in the world are, are in today because of, let me just put a word on it, greed. I think there's still hope in the, in the film itself and just showing how Evil, you know, evil is, you know, it's a question of where, where does evil come from in this world? The morality of the film, the position of the film, the responsibility of the film is it's all about that. There's hope, but we have to face the truth. There's evil. There's the, the battle between good and evil will exist. It's inherent in man. I think it's a very hopeful film because it's all the truth about morality. So the, 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 just if we could go back to religion, which has always been a sort of Western religion, a part of the Philippines, yeah. and the role that it's playing in the sort of uh, class, as a class issue. The Philippines is 80% Catholic, 20% uh, of, of, of it is Islam and some Protestant uh, uh, denominations. So our psyche is pretty much, you know, uh, influenced by Christianity, so to speak, by spe specifically Catholic thinking, Catholic perspective. I don't want to manipulate it. As much as possible, I'm going for that, the truth. 
When I talk to the actors, I will not do a cut to cut of you. I will do a lot of shots from you. So this is just maybe one take or two takes. Go for the truth of your character. You're known for these long form films, you know, four hours and all like that. Uh, when you set out to write the script or conceptualize the film, is that something that's already, you know, it's going to be, you're going to proportion the film, the story, according to the number of hours or whatever? But the process is very organic. I, sometimes I have a script, but during the shoot, I follow threads. So, like this film, I have, a, we have a script. But during the shooting, I we wrote everything, 90% I wrote, I wrote everything during the shoot. And it's, it's very organic, actually. There's no theoretical framework around the shots. I don't think about the length. I just follow the threads. But, well, the very basic, fundamental thing for me is just that. that. Long takes, you know, no cut to cuts. I go with the so-called manipulations in cinema. Uh, can, you, can you talk a bit about your decision to shoot in color for this film? Because for your last yeah. films you've been working in, in black and white, which has almost become a trademark. Yeah, before this I shot eight films in black and white, so it was a struggle to... The decision to go color is pretty much a struggle during the shoot. And until the first day of the shoot, I couldn't actually decide. But what drove me to embrace the idea of color again is the location itself. When we were doing the locations there, uh, three months prior to the shoot, we were like checking everything, preparing everything, and I realized that, you know, the color is very important, it's a very important character in the location, in the north. The hues are really beautiful, but at the same time very deceptive, deceptive. Uh, so, during the first day of the shoot, I decided to go for color. Another question related to the camera work. Can you say a little bit about this, uh, that, that floating? Mm. That, that sort of it's a helicom. We use, we use this new technology where you put a small camera and just like... This, this machine is uh, being used by people in the sports. Uh, you know, you have this uh, touch shot or vision. Is that supposed to suggest a God idea? I don't know, is this a uh, dream? dream perspective? Well, in my own, you know, in my own uh, interpretation of the film, and the creator, so it's just a dream, or maybe some fancy thing it's in the mind of uh, Joaquin, because he's thinking a lot about his family, and so he's dreaming about his things, looking after them. But, you know, the film is out now, so it's your interpretation issue, you know, the perspective of the film, or whatever it is, it is God, it is God. You can take a couple more, yeah. Um, I, I, I want to go back to the politics of the film because the, the beauty of the film is, is very much with me, but I, I'm, my head is thinking and raising some questions. We've, uh, in the last year, we've seen the, the, um, the film about all the murders of all the left people, and so I'm trying to put that together with uh, the critique that is made in the film about when we're young, we believed in these sort of leftist ideals, and then... They, they seem to have walked away or, or been discouraged by them, the characters in the film. So I, I just, where does this position, um, where, where do you, the, the politics, where is the position given what has happened in the Philippines to people that have used the 20th century ideas of how to make change? And uh, the, you, you leave us with this image of sort of an idyllic landscape, country, nature, how realistic, I, I'm, I'm seeing this through an American eyes, and so I don't, it maybe culturally it's different in the Philippines, but where does this leave, uh, this question I, I asked about hope before, but where does this leave in, in a political sense what the Filipino people are to, are to gain from this? I don't know, the film is a warning that these things are, you know, we have Fabian, he's, he's very twisted ideology on how to change the world, but, He's like, he, he deviates from everything, from Marxism, from anarchism, everything. So, so he's, he's creating his own ideology. 
the last part of the film is like an affirmation of the like the rape of his sister and the killing of the dog. These are the loved ones, these loved ones. These are the things very dear to him. And he has to affirm his ideology. So it's a very twisted ideology. So we have to watch that. It's, you know, it's kind of a one, you know, so part of the film is that. You know. The moral position of the film is that one in you know, what is twisted ideology. Follow-up question to that helicopter. Right here. Just a follow-up question to the helicopter. Can you put that camera on that, or is that? Uh... Yeah, it's a seventy camera. We do it's a helicopter. Four helicopter. That's remote control. It's remote control. Okay. Yeah. You can see this everywhere. There's sports coverage. Yeah, I think they're using real estate. Yeah. Uh, we have one last question. Right. Yes. Oh, it has to do with the length of time that you uh, actually put into the project. How much time did you uh, uh, use in shooting? Uh, how long did the you whole know, process of uh, yeah. yeah. We did some very short. We prepared the film for like four months, and the shoot was like two months. And the post is a month. And it's easy to just put things together. Thank you for coming. And thank, thank you. you.